So welcome to a uh, KCPE past questions. Now, if you are just joining us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow us because we are going to be solving several questions. Now, the question one says, what is 76,543 and 200 in numerals? Now, all you just need to do, it's um, quietly write out the figures. Now, it said 76,000. So, the first thing, I will write out my 76,000. Now, it said um, 500. So, I'll put my 500. Um, now, it says uh, 43. So, I'm going to write my 43. And it said 200. Now, for 200, you introduce your dot. And put up uh, this is 10 and this is um, 200 so I'm going to sum this up and this will give me 0 2 dot this is 3 4 5 and 7 6 so you can call this this is 76,543 and 200 so the correct answer here it's um, C question 2 says how many group of a hundred are there in the total value of digit three in the number nine seven three six zero four now when you see this number nine seven three nine seven three six zero four you're going to see that this is what three thousand so this is a three thousand now it's asking for how many groups of hundred now all you need to do is divide it by hundred so um the two zero cancels two zero, so you have thirty groups of hundred. So when you multiply thirty by hundred, you're going to get back your three thousand. So the correct answer here is A. So we will go to the next question, and question three says, "What is one over four, five over eleven, six over seven, three over eight arranged in descending order?" So we are going to arrange from the highest number to the lowest number now the first thing you need to do it in order to be fast to beat your time in solving this question you need to know that 6 over 7 is actually the greatest number here now the reason is this is close to 1 because just remaining 1 unit it's going to be um, it's going to be um, 1 so 6 over 7 is the greatest now Looking from this option, you can as well see if you are arranging it in descending order, your correct answer it's going to be um, D. Okay, so this is the correct answer. So without solving it, we can identify the answer. So it's going to be 6 over 7, um, 5 over 11, 3 over 8, and 1 over 4. So uh, if you want to solve this question, all you just need to do is find the LCM. So maybe we can go ahead and solve the question. So let's find the LCM of 4, 11, 7, and 8. So 2 into 4 is going to give us what? 2, 2 into 11 is 11. This will be 7, and this will be 4. So 2 here is going to give us 1. This will be 11. This will be 7, and this will be 2. 2 here will be 1, 11, 7, and this is going to be 1. So I think 7 can go. This is 1, 11, this is 7, and this is 1. And um, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1. So the LCM is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 times 11. So when you multiply dates, you are going to get... That's 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 7 is 56, 56 multiplied by 11. So when you do 56 multiplied by um, 11, you're going to get 56, 56, you're going to get 6, this is uh, 1, you carry 1, and this is what? 6. So the LCM is 616. So when you draw your LCM table, 616. Now 616 divided by 7 you are going to get um, okay so 616 divided by 7 now when you do that you're going to get 88 multiplied by 6 now this will give you 528 comma then you do 616 divided by 11 
you're going to get 56 multiplied by 5. Now, this is going to give you 280. Now, remember, we're treating them this way. Then the next one is 616 divided by 8. You're going to get 77 multiplied by 3. Now, this is going to give you 231. And 616 divided by 4, it's going to give you 154 multiplied by 1. So, you have 154. So, you can see this confirms the answer that the order of descending order is D. So, like I said, all you need to do is just identify, um, if you check, only D starts with um, 6 over 7. And from here, you can also see that the smallest is um, 1 over 4, which is actually 25%. So, that tells you D is the correct answer. So, we are going to be taking you to question 4 which says, uh, let's evaluate this. Now, the first thing I'm going to advise you is to bring in your board mass. So don't forget your board mass. So for you to evaluate this, this is going to be seven and a half plus one whole number, one over four off. Now, one, something you need to know, it's uh, you do your off first. This is uh, one over four off. 3, 1 over 6 divided by 2 and half. So this is going to give me, um, this would be 7 and half plus. Now I'm going to change this to improper fraction. This would be um, 5 over 4, 5 over 4 multiplied. Remember your off is going to become that. So this would be, when you change this to improper fraction, you're going to get 19 over 6. Then... You're going to have uh, divided by, then this will now be two and a half. So um, from here, we're going to have the seven and a half is the same thing as um, 15 over two plus. Now I'm going to change this as a unit. This will be five times 19 all over four times six. Now divided by, now this will be two and a half. And you know that two and a half is the same thing as 5 over 2. So um, we are going to change this to multiplication and put 2 over 5. 2 here is 1, 2 into 4 is 2, 5 here is 1, 5 here is 1. So we are going to have 15 over 2 plus 1 times 19 is 19, 2 times 6 is going to give us 12. So we'll form our LCM which is 12, 12 into 2 is 6, 6 times 15 is 90 plus 12 into 12, it's 1 plus 19. So this is going to give us 109 over 12. And when you change this to um, a proper fraction, you are going to get a um, 9 whole number. And um, so when you do... So this is going to be 9 whole number, 1 over... 12 final answer so as easy as that you can attempt most of these questions and don't